Today, I have a big challenge. I'm gonna convert a Range Rover Vogue into an all-terrain off-road 4x4. Woo! Go on, lad. Yeah. Get up there. Cheat. Go on. Listen, I'm cheating. I've got my feet on the step. <laughs> anyway, guys, today is going to be a very special vlog. I've got a customer who owns a Range Rover Vogue. He's called me and said, can I make his car into an off-road, all-terrain 4x4? Of course I can. This customer owns 100 acres of land. He wants to use his vehicle to go off-roading so he can drive uphill, downhill, sideways, mud tracks, wet tracks, Swimming pools, not swimming pools. <laughs> you can drive through a swimming pool. Listen, when I'm finished with this car, you can drive through anything. It's gonna be a Range Rover tank. Now where do I start? Because there's nothing available on the market for me to use. So I've got to fabricate and manufacture everything. So I've got to go to the design studio, sit down with my designers and design everything from scratch and make sure my technicians are up to the challenge. These are some of the Land Rover Defenders we modified earlier on. They're for sale, by the way. Actually, this one's going to America. But if you're interested in one of these cars, give us a call. This one has been all customized and modified to be an all-terrain off-road 4x4. This has got the winch on there, the bull bar, the checkered plates, the LED lights, the snorkel, the wide arches, and it's been painted in military green. This is a special edition vehicle. It's got a galvanized chassis on there as well. I've got to make that Range Rover Vogue into one of these. Saku, yeah. how's it going with the uh, design work on the... It's going quite The well. Windermere, I think we should call it the Windermere edition. Range Rover, Vogue. We've got the roof lights. Mm -hmm. We've got the bar in the front. That's We've looking got the good. lower splitter. We've got the wider arches. The design's coming on really well. Sorry guys, my hands are dirty. But that's the beauty of this job. Harris, what do you say? Dirty hands, clean money. But you can have clean hands and clean money. But this job, if you want to go into it, you've got to make sure that you're happy to get your hands dirty. This is our yard where we keep all our spare and scrap parts. Just in case we're modifying something and we need to look for a part or use a part to modify it to fit another car, I come over here. Whoa, that air bar. Maybe I can customize that onto there. Maybe it's too big. I don't know, it's a trial and error. I've got to try it all out. Now that looks nice. Maybe I can paint that black. Have I got it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Easy work, easy work. Oh, it's working all over it. Oh. Anyway, that's part of the job, guys. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Check and play. Needed this. That's a good one. Okay, I've got a lot of things together now, and uh, I'm going to fabricate, weld a lot of this together and make something one off, one of a kind. Better take it straight back to the workshop and crack on. The Range Rover is in the workshop right now. I've briefed my technicians, I've told them exactly the plan that I have in my head and on paper. Now we've got to make this a reality. We're going to do a lot of cutting, grinding, welding, chopping, modifying, but it's going to be a big challenge for my lads, but we're going to make sure it's done and done in time.
today we're getting some cameras fitted. We're just updating our camera system here. Got Billy here doing all the wiring now. Whoa, go on, look at the state of this office. This is Ibrahim, he's our camera fitter. Capital CCTV in Bradford, so if you want your cameras fitting, home or businesses, he's the man to call. So uh, obviously, I only use the best in the game. If somebody walked past, it alert my mobile phone. Yeah, anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Just imagine I'm sat in Dubai in, on Burj Khalifa, having a cup of tea. Could I access my cameras? Yes. Check that out guys. The Range Rover Vogue is all transformed. We've customised it to look aggressive and stylish. We've also built it so it can go off-roading. It's built to go through all weather conditions. Looking outside, there's bad weather. I might just take it off-roading right now. Let's go guys. Now that was a great driving experience. This is something else. We built this vehicle one off one for the customer. He wanted it looking aggressive and for off-road purposes and that's exactly what we've done. Stay tuned guys for some bigger builds because it's only gonna get crazier. Make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned, share all the love. Harris, let's go do a night shoot. <laughs>